in this video I'm going to talk about measurement measurement in general the action of measuring something for example the size length amount of something as established by measure so we use unit measure for example you know a system of unit for example feet inches ounce uh, found uh, kilogram and so on so this is just a regular measurement earlier math class we learned but now if you are a introductory statistics class we're gonna learn the measurement a little bit different now. we have a four basic measurement in introductory statistics class so uh, the first one is nominal second one is ordinal third one is interval and fourth one is ratio so these are four basic measurement so what is nominal nominal sounds like a name it just sounds like a name so for example any name your name my name country name city name uh, you you can think of anything like first name uh, car model name um, in anything that has a name level categories so that's a nominal the next one we can think of ordinal means sounds like order so this one sounds like order so highest to the lowest lowest to the highest some some sort of value involved in it actually for example if we talk about a grid level so if you get 90 you get an a actually if you get 80 you get a b actually so this is a and b certain score will give you or assign you or earn you an a grid point average so a and b you can order it from smallest to largest largest to smallest now if you can take the difference then it's not an ordinal you, you can order but remember when you take the difference if it is not meaningful in other words meaningless difference is meaningless that's called ordinal for example if we say a minus b what we are going to get out of a minus b nothing because it's unlike term we cannot really combine it so this is like ordinal so you can order it but when you subtract this one or that one or this or that right you won't get anything meaningful actually so a minus b is the same as a minus b now interval level is the same as ordinal level but one extra property involved in it actually so uh, ordinal you can order it but when difference is meaningful then it's called interval so uh, for example you know if you get 90 if you get 90 you have a but if you talk about grade score so that's 80 and if you get C you get a 70 so a 90 B 80 just an example and C 70 now you can order it from smallest to largest largest to smallest but it's not ordinal why it's not ordinal because the difference in matter is meaningful so for example I can say AD 90 minus AD that will give you 10 and this is a meaningful yeah that's a meaningful 10 on the other hand if you look into A minus B we get A minus B we are not getting anything else that's meaningless actually we cannot subtract here but over here we can take a difference actually so it's gonna give us 10 so this is meaningful so as 90 minus 70 which is 20 or 80 minus 70 which is 10 if it is meaningful we call it interval now someone can get 0 okay so of course 90 minus 0 which is also something 90 so that is interval actually let's move into ratio so well ratio has both properties ordinal and interval plus one extra property involved in it which is a natural zero starting point so anything like ratio if you know we can go over a over b anything has a uh, you know you're comparing two quantities so ratio a over b so in this case zero matters actually so taxable income and so on actually is, is going to be a ratio okay so let's actually uh, we have an you know little bit understanding of four measurement let's look them more in deep in detail with an example with more example on it
Okay, so nominal level. So the nominal level of measurement that Monbolvi names levels and categories. There is no way to find that the data can be ordered from smallest to largest. So we cannot find data which is smallest and largest, but it's like name, level, and categories. So if you look into the example, basically, the first example here, names of food. It can be like chicken curry, goat curry, rice, or some kind of spaghetti, right? So this is like name of food. It's just a name, nominal data. Television shows, TV shows, you have a bunch of them, patriotic shows, these shows, that shows, you know, watch Netflix and so on, they have different shows, and that is just a name actually, okay? Next one, car models. So you have almost every maker have different, different models of the car. So those are just name, it's just a name. The next one, city name. So it can be, uh, you know, New York City, New York, Boston, Los Angeles. So ordinal level of data sounds like order. The ordinal level of measurement that can be organized in order. However, differences between data values either cannot be found out or meaningless. So we can order. So for example, the first one, we have some intuition earlier. Let's take a look. Highest academic degree. So if you go with the highest academic degree, for example, we can say PhD like that. Actually, we can order it PhD, Master's, Bachelor of Science, and high school diploma, as you see. So these are basically highest academic degree. We can order. What, how do we know we can order? Because certain years of education needed for the maximum and so on. Okay, so that's basically ordinal. Now we move into the second one, which is we move into the second one, which is going to be shirt size. You go to the stores and you find out first thing is it going to fit small or medium or large? Nowadays you have a custom fit and slim fit, so that's something for advertising actually. Most probably that's most popular. So this is the size actually. So this is also ordinal. We can order it small, medium, and large. And the next one we can go down here is the grid level. I think we already talked about grid level actually. Okay, so for example, I mean, uh, you know, if you have uh, 11th grade, 10th grade, 9th grade, and so on, this is going to be an ordinal level also. This is going to be ordinal level. Then one more level we're going to go over, which is going to be Consumer satisfaction scale, for example, is it for acceptable good? So this is an you know some kind of survey actually. Okay, so this is also ordinal actually so uh, That's come up with some points and so on. So this is this can be also an ordinal level of data. Let's move on to interval level of data so interval level of data, the interval level of measurement that can be arranged in order. In addition, differences between the data value are meaningful. So um, meaningful. So it, we can order and the difference is meaningful. So for example, if you look into A, temperature in Fahrenheit. So temperature in Fahrenheit. For example, I have 80 degree. I have 80 degree. I have a 90 degree. I can order from smallest to largest actually. So this is can this is a temperature down here. So 80 to 90, there is a difference is 10. So that's a 10 degree. Now if you go 100 degree, so what is the difference is 10. So we take the difference is 10. It's meaningful actually. Now if you do have a zero degree, if you have a zero degree, that is not actually zero. They said you know I mean in this case zero degree really means. Um, um, 30 uh, freezing level below the freezing level 32 degrees below the freezing level so that has you know something um, we should work on actually on look into this one zero degree it, it is not a zero directly it really meaning 32 degree below the freezing level actually so that's something we should uh, think of think about it okay so um, we cannot say zero is a natural starting point so this one doesn't have a natural starting point zero but if we move to the next one, which is the ratio level, we're going to talk more about the zero, natural zero starting point. Let's move into the next one. 
years of education degree. So in this case, years of education degree. So for example, 2021. So if you have graduated 2021, or if you have graduated 2020, so this is just year, or 2015, which year you graduated. So we can actually order it from highest to the lowest and is a meaningful. You can subtract it, it's meaningful, therefore it is going to be interval level of data. So this is interval level of data. Now let's move into the ratio level of data. Ratio level measurement that can be arranged in order in addition both differences between data value and ratios of data values are meaningful. You can order it Difference is meaningful. There is one extra property involved in it actually. It has a starting point zero So zero means there is no quantity actually, okay? So on the other hand if you look into that we look back flash back into interval interval zero if you have a zero degree Fahrenheit that really tells that 32 degree below the freezing level. So that's something referring to uh, 32 degrees. So that's not really zero really meaningful there. But up here, zero means no quantity here. Zero means no quantity in ratio level. So for example, if I go down here on this first example here, score on last exam. So if we have score on last exam, for example, uh, you know, uh, you get a 90 on the first exam well out of what out of 100 that's out of 100 you did pretty good now no one showed up in the first couple of classes and test was there and of course n um, whatever going on student have no idea so I'll get what zero out of 100 so in this case zero means no quantity so zero out of something so this is like e over b so that is zero so up here and of course this one have something here right okay so this one down here, zero out of hundred, zero means there is no quantity present, no question was answered. So out of hundred, so that's a zero. So score on last exam, even though we can order it, for example, down here, 90, 80, 70, zero, we can order it. But guess what? Zero really make a big deal here, big deal here. So zero out of something. You are we are measuring that out of something actually. So it's a ratio E over B. So that's actually ratio level. Let's move into the next one here. Age of a student. So same thing age of a student is also ratio level. Ratio level. It's also ratio level. Now we're gonna move into the last one here. Taxable income. So that is also ratio level. So